all of us have a story to tell and understanding that those stories is the first step towards having love and respect we could have for each other. You know, we encourage you to continue to celebrate one another and remember, our differences are what make us stronger. It's not about agreeing with everybody all the time either. And I think we forget that about a lot of outside cultures. You know, we just need to continue to honor and celebrate our heritages and what makes us who we are. So our culture is our religion and our religion is our culture. We all want to be able to belong. Remember, like, we are human just like you are. And so right. we, we bleed just like you do, we feel just like you do, and we care just like you do. Racism and racial bias uh, comes in many shapes, forms, and fashions. Making someone feel sorry for their heritage or anything like that, because at the end of the day, it's not productive. It doesn't have a good outcome, and it everybody loses. That's someone who looks like her daddy, looks like her nana, called me this. Because living a life that isn't true to who you are, it wears you down. It slowly eats away at you. So you have someone who is smiling in your face, uh, you know, just as nice as could be. And in her home, they referred to us with such hate for someone who I had never even known before. We're unsure of where this conversation will go. And it makes all of us nervous. But the courage to have these conversations is the thing that is going to help the next generations. We're all going to be surrounded by people who are different from us, whether it's physically or in terms of their nationality or their race or religion. I think it's important to not see that as a threat to your own individual way of life. Truth be told, I really think the person who judged me the most harshly was me. Respect each other for who we are as human beings and as, as the character that we portray ourselves as to everyone else around us. I would love to see far more people involved and we want everyone, not just the LGBTQ plus community, we want allies. The people on this call are going to go back into your own silos and friend groups and you know, you guys are going to be part of what starts the change in the conversations. And You'll find out there's probably more that you probably have more in common with other people um, than what makes us different. We inspire um, by opening minds on hearts and minds of people. You can bring all these these different pieces together and there are commonalities, there are just ways that we see each other as people. Instead of choosing to harbor that hatred or anger or anything, you have to let it go and really embrace the change that you you are able to make as an individual and let go what you can't change. There are more of you out there that are so supporting that have helped me getting where I am today that there are so many to count. Korean, Chinese, Filipinos, Vietnamese, Indian, whatever it is, we're all human beings. You know what? You're, you're part of my, my gang. You're part of my family. Um, you don't, may not look like me. You may not have the same kind of lifestyle I do, but we're all in this together. And a lot of people will inspire you along the way, but ultimately it is your choice to get up every day and continue to be resilient. You were able to support me without even knowing that you were holding me up. That they're willing to be curious about you and to invest in you, but then also bring you along with them, with their success. And you really don't know it until you have those conversations and you peel back all the layers to figure out what's going on inside of that person's heart and inside of that person's mind, uh, and then start to educate and learn. I think that we can make this world an amazing place. It's just what we choose to do.